Greetings, interwebs. This is Jackie K, and welcome for another Pokemon battle. As you might be able to tell, we are back in the Baby Cup tournament over in Ryokan. And this is actually the third round. I skipped the second round because it seemed pretty similar to the first round. But obviously, with the other person winning because it was best two out of three. I say it like that because I don't want to spoil it on the off chance you just happen to find this video online and you haven't seen round one yet. Which I highly encourage you to go check out. There should be an annotation on screen that will link you to the first round we had. If you guys are interested in seeing round two, I haven't deleted the battle yet, so if you speak up, I will re download that video onto my computer and commentate it for you all. Because it's best two out of three, we both have the same team as before, learning things from our opponent battling twice already. For those of you who are determined to watch this video first, allow me to quickly go over what this battle is about. All these Pokemon are level 1, and there's no EV training at all. Me personally, I actually bred all but one move onto them. And that was only after I learned, after going in there, that you were allowed to teach TMs to them. So it was like Little Cup, but even more Little. I could go over the Pokemon, but you've seen both of these teams already if you've watched the first part. And I'd rather show than tell, especially with this team. So starting off the battle here, I'm going to be leading off with my little son of Chie, the Minfu, and my opponent will be leading with a Lily. Now the Lily bit is a bulky little bugger, but besides that, it's not really anything to worry about. I decided to go for the fake out because, hey, any damage that's free is good damage. I don't know if I would rather just go for an attack move, but I do want to swap out Minfu anyways to conserve his health for later on. As he decides to start stockpiling up on me, I get the genius idea of deciding to burn it. Sending my fire type out against a rock type just to burn it. I've done better with this Lilic, but to be fair, this Lilic has not gotten any action up to this point, so I guess a part of me was just so determined to try to use it. Alas, I don't think this is Lilic's day. I do decide to conserve it in case I need it later, though. I bring in my own wall to counter his wall, and this Squirtle has a nice trick up his sleeve with the whole Aurora Spear, so I'm feeling pretty fine right now. Probably should have gone into this thing straight away. Oh well. There's a lot of things I could have done, but could have, should have, would have. Speaking of, herbaderbs and your water type out against the grass type, Jackie K. That's so genius of thinking. In hindsight, what I should have done is use this Minfu to knock off the evil light this little light has, and then cast World Duel Aurora Spirit, but I was so determined to keep this Minfu around. But you can't change the past. Can't even remember if I knew this thing had Evil Light at the time. With bygones are bygones, and this little light is out of the picture. And besides a lost Squirtle and a weakened candle, that's not so bad. But it is bad because this milk tank is pretty overpowered for being a Pokemon hatched out of an egg. I switch right into my Emolga. Expecting to do Earthquake, because I know from past battles that I can be one shot by an Earthquake from this Milk Tank. But nope, the Milk Tank decides to go for a Swagger instead. <laughs> what hurts is I know this Milk Tank has the Rock Slide, so that hitting myself in confusion is going to cost me my Emolga. Goodbye, Emolga. Good thing you got a little bit of action in the last battle. Maybe I should use the second battle, if only to give Emolga a little more action. Now, Durant here is going to be my key hole because it's the most powerful Pokemon I have on my team. And the Milk Tank goes for the Swagger again, no. But to be fair, this is a bit of a gamble on his part. Yes, Confusion's very nice on a good attacker. But using a Swagger move does boost my own attack. So if I break through, it's going to hurt his entire team. And thankfully for me, Durant is pretty good defensively as well as offensively. So it's good to actually be able to take that Earthquake, unlike a lot of Pokemon on my team. 
and I snap out of confusion. So this is goodbye to Milk Tank, and I'm not even sure if there's anything he can do to stop me. Let's find out. This Furu might be a possibility because it's incredibly bulky, especially for a reality egg. But I'm not gonna be taken out by the Picard. Worse for him. Worse. I am put into the range that Swarm can come into play. An ability that boosts bug type moves when you're low in health. So that is why I swap from Iron Head to Bug Bite for any situation it might desire. Including this Bulbasaur. Sorry, Bulbasaur. He didn't really get a chance to shine in this tournament. Bulbasaur will have stay though, one way or another. And this Pokemon might be a devastating issue to my Durant, if it wasn't for the fact that Durant is faster, so I can pretty much one-shot it again. <laughs> is there anything, anything that can possibly stop this Durant? Oh my gosh, it's a pimp! No. Mm, uh, no. Congratulations, you have just witnessed a Durant sweep. Never thought I'd be using this Pokemon. But it turns out to be so handy, especially in a baby tournament. It is too overpowered to be a baby. <laughs> so with that victory, I not only won this match, but the whole tournament. So good game to my opponent. It certainly was a close one since we actually had all three matches in the best two out of three, and I started off on the losing side of things. Hey, you guys had your chance to watch the other video first. So thank to you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, feel free to comment. Especially if you want to see that round 2 battle that I skipped. And if you enjoy what you see, there should be an annotation on screen to check out even more Pokemon battles that I've commentated. If you're really enjoying things, feel free to check out my channel for other commentaries. Because I do a variety of commentary playthroughs from... Let's plays to my first playthrough of a game to Jack K tries. A hopefully week full week series that involves me taking a few minutes to give myself a first impression of a game. With all that, I hope to see you all later. Big Fret Son, his team, I would definitely include would be the Furfuru, the Melt Tank, and those are the big two. Although, I don't want to underestimate that. The ghost tree! The ghost the tree! The baby ghost tree! Why am I stumbling on his name? I know Tarant or something is the fully evolved form, but... Why can't I remember the little one? I know the pumpkin-like one is called Pumphu or something, but I can't remember the little tree!